We have one office, at least one in every state. This is where the office in Tennessee is located. It's in Nashville. We do cover the whole state from, from that office. Um, on each of those websites, this is the, the contact information. You can get on our website. Uh, most of the time there's a listing of personnel. Uh, you can get anyone's name, phone number, email address uh, to get in touch with them to follow up with any information that you need. Uh, I'm not going to read these slides uh, verbatim. You, you guys will get this information. I'll just try to cover the highlights again. Um, in, as I said, just try to cover the highlights because we could do a lengthy seminar on most of these, these facets. The 8A program, a lot of people will call it the minority program. It is, in fact, a business development program. Um, the 8A certification is, the 8A just simply stands for the section in the regulations where the program was set up. Uh, but again, some people will call it the 8A program, the, the minority program, whatever. We are governed by, mostly by the CFR, the Code of Federal Regulations, and uh, the FAR, which is the Federal Acquisitions Regulations. And this is the section where you can get most of the regulations. There will be scattered all throughout this, this lengthy book. A eight-day certified firm has nine years in the program. Uh, again, it is a business development program. It is not a contracting program. It is a once-in-a-lifetime certification. When you go on the website to look for this application, it is there in electronic form. There is a little tutorial there. Go through that, pay attention. It will help you narrow your thinking. Is the 8A program right for me or is it right for me right now? It may be that you need to do a little groundwork, get some infrastructures in place because those nine years will go by in a hurry and you want to take full advantage of those nine years that you're in the program. Uh, most of this information is out there on the website. Um, the criteria that you have to meet, everything like that. One of the main things is that you have to be in business two years. You have to be a U.S. citizen. You have to have good character. Um, and the person who is disadvantaged has to own, or persons, because it can be more than one person, has to own 51% of, of the 8A firm. They have to be in data, data control. It cannot be in just name only. There are certain groups that are presumed to be social and economically disadvantaged. Those are usual racial or ethnic in origin. Others, that's a listing of some of them. Others are also eligible for the 8A program. You will have or have to submit a substantive uh, narrative to show how you have suffered social and economic disadvantage in doing business with your peer companies. And you have to establish it by preponderance of the evidence. Uh, most of that will not be, you're not going to have any hard document that someone has given you that says, I'm not going to do business with you for whatever. Um, it is a narrative. Um, and it has to be an ongoing, it cannot be a one-time thing that happened to you. And this again is just says others, other than that presumed group, they are eligible for the program. You will have to document that. And this is what does it mean uh, to enter the program. You have to, your adjusted net worth has to be less than $250,000. In assessing your adjusted net worth, your equity in your primary residence will be excluded along with the equity in your, in your business. 